traders, I'm Tamara Mayer and welcome to the Knockout Trader Dojo. So the channel is called the Knockout Trader as it combines my two passions of martial art and trading and because there are actually a lot of similarities between the two. There are also many valuable lessons to be learned from martial arts for those of you who are looking to master the art of trading. In this series, I want to share with you nine lessons that I've learned as I advance through the belt and during the time that I spend inside the ring, first as a competitor and later on as a referee, and how these lessons can be applied to conquer the art of trading. The first lesson is perseverance. So we currently live in a day and age of instant gratification, of wanting things yesterday and expecting things to work perfectly right from the get-go. But the painful truth, as much of all of us will learn, is that life in reality doesn't work this way and we can't summon success by just pressing on a button and ordering it via some sort of a nifty looking app. So let's think about the journey that a person would be taking to obtain their black belt, that first beautiful golden stripe that represents your first dan. So a person new to martial art will start with a white belt, right? We all know that, we all understand that and we all expect that. So no one thinks that once they walk into a dojo and have a class or two, then within a week they will be receiving their black belt, right? And yet, when we're thinking about trading, many new traders believe that this is going to be quick and easy. So why is that? Why is it that we all understand that it takes time and effort to become a black belt martial artist, as an example, but we don't think the same about becoming a trader? Part of the problem is the ease of execution, or rather the fallacy that it is easy to execute a trade because it is easy to physically press a button and enter a trade. However, the two are not the same and there are two very different elements. Many new traders believe that entering a trade is in fact the exact same as executing or placing a high probability trade and that it's an easy task to perform. Basically what we're doing here is substituting a task or a thought or an element. We're not considering how hard it is to place a good trade, we substitute the action with pressing a button. So it's not just a matter or several clicks on the mouse, yeah? Well, placing a high probability trade is a lot more complicated than that. So before placing a trade, a trader needs to ensure that first, the setup meets all the criteria of their previously proven high probability trading strategy. So they need to do some work in order to get to that strategy, in order to have a proven strategy. They also need to ensure that they have calculated the correct monetary exposure for that trade. That needs to work with accordance to their trade management plan and their risk plan. Secondly, they need to time their entry so that when the market trigger the trade, the opportunity will, in more likelihood than not, will go toward their target rather than toward the stop loss. Now this is the hardest part to master and most difficult discipline to learn and follow. This part is the time that is being spent when starting as a white belt or your journey to achieve a black belt. Trading is not about pressing buttons or clicking the mouse. The pressing of a button can be akin to putting on a martial art attire. Wearing a martial art attire, putting that black belt on us, doesn't make us a martial artist or a black belt martial artist. It is the time spent training at the dojo to master the discipline that does. So similarly, Opening a trade does not make a person a consistently profitable trader. It's the time, the effort and the work that is put into learning and flawlessly executing their trading strategy that can make a trader. The second lesson is discipline. How likely are you to stick with something you've just started? Maybe a better question to ask is how much do you want it? 
How much do you really want it? In today's world, there is a lot of noise coming at us from every single angle. There are a lot of empty promises and illusions pushing us to chop and change and move from one fad to the other. But the reality is that if we want to succeed in something, it's not going to be overnight. It's going to take discipline to stick to what we are doing. Even when sometimes it feels like a grind and that we are not getting anywhere. It's the small improvement, the little increments every day that yield us the biggest success. But in order to get there, we need the discipline to stay the course. Think about it like um, earning your stripe, climbing through the belt, working towards your trading black belt. So in the next chapter, we are going to get inside the ring. This is when the pressure to perform and succeed is ramped up and when a potential roller coaster of bad behavior can ensue. Learning to recognize how you behave before, during and after a trade is crucial, but knowing how to fix it is the key to becoming a knockout trader. So until the next chapter, happy knockouts everyone! Bye for now!